For centuries, mankind has looked up at the stars, filled with wonder and curiosity, questioning the mysteries that lie beyond our own world. The infinite expanse of deep space has inspired generations of humans to ask one of the most profound questions. Are we alone? Is there, somewhere out there in the cosmos, another civilization like ours, perhaps even more advanced, waiting to be discovered? This thirst for knowledge fueled early efforts to explore the universe. Initially, we peered into the heavens with telescopes, a primitive yet powerful tools for gazing at the distant stars and planets. However, as our curiosity grew and the telescopes proved insufficient, we pushed the boundaries of technology to get a clearer view. This drive led to the development of space probes advanced machines designed to travel to the farthest reaches of our solar system and beyond, providing humanity with a much better understanding of what lies in the void. Among the most iconic and remarkable space missions to emerge from this quest were the Voyager probes. The Voyager's two spacecraft stand as monumental achievements in space exploration. They were conceived, designed, built, and launched by NASA in the 1970s, and incredibly they are still out there, hurtling through the cosmos, sending back invaluable data to Earth decades later. After years of traveling in the vastness of space, even after seven months of silence, Voyager 2, one of these marvels, made contact with Earth again, a testament to the resilience and ingenuity behind its design. As we embark on a deeper exploration of these fascinating spacecraft, we invite you to learn more about their journey, the incredible discoveries they have made, and where they are now. You'll also uncover just how far these probes have traveled from Earth, and what lies in their future as they continue their unprecedented voyage through the stars. In the annals of space exploration, only five spacecraft launched by humanity have the momentum and trajectory to escape the gravitational bounds of our solar system and venture into the vast unknown of interstellar space. The Voyager spacecraft are among this elite group, and their journeys have far surpassed even the most optimistic of expectations. When they were first conceived, few could have predicted that these probes would not only fulfill their original mission, but would continue to relay invaluable information decades later. We believe these extraordinary spacecraft don't get the attention and admiration they deserve. So we're here to share some truly intriguing facts about them, things you might not know about their discoveries, their design, and their future. The Voyager project was officially approved in 1972. But interestingly, it didn't start under that name. Initially called Mariner Jupiter Saturn, the mission was part of NASA's Mariner program, with the two probes being designated Mariner 11 and Mariner 12. However, as the technology behind the probes advanced significantly beyond what was used in the earlier Mariner spacecraft, NASA decided to rename them the Voyagers to reflect their enhanced capabilities and broader mission objectives. Speaking of technological advances, it's fascinating to delve into the hardware and systems that powered these vintage spacecraft. It's astonishing to think that these probes were launched 44 years ago, with Voyager 2 blasting off on August 20th. 1977, followed by Voyager 1 just two weeks later, on September 5, 1977. The timing of these launches was crucial, as they took advantage of important developments in the science of gravity-assisted orbital trajectories. This technique, also known as a gravitational slingshot, allows a spacecraft to use the gravitational pull of a nearby planet to gain a significant boost in velocity propelling it farther into space without expending additional fuel. The precise calculation of these trajectories allowed the Voyagers to journey far beyond their initial targets, extending their mission to realms never before explored. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Voyager probes is their onboard computer systems. Both spacecraft are equipped with dual redundant computer systems, meaning each has two sets of critical components to ensure mission success, even if one system fails. However, Compared to modern technology, these computers are incredibly primitive. Each Voyager computer has a total memory of just 69.63 kilobytes in minuscule amount, by today's standards. Barely enough to store a single average-sized JPEG image. The scientific data collected by these probes was stored on digital 8-track tape machines. But unlike the familiar 8-track players your grandparents may have used to listen to music in their cars, these machines were designed to operate in the harsh environment of space. They were built by Odetics Corp. and subcontracted to Lockheed for both spacecraft, 
capable of recording data at speeds of 115.2 kilobytes per second, beeps, and playing it back at a slower speed of 57.6 peps. It's remarkable that these magnetic tapes have held up so well over the years, despite the harsh conditions of space, and continue to transmit valuable data back to Earth. The computers on board the Voyager spacecraft are also a marvel in terms of their simplicity and durability. Capable of executing around 81,000 instructions per second, they are roughly 7,500 times slower than the average modern smartphone. Additionally, they transmit data back to Earth at a rate of just 160 bits per second, which is staggeringly slow by today's standards. To put that in perspective, if you tried to use a similar connection to download a 5 gigabyte movie from Netflix, it would take you about 8.5 years to complete the download. However, the most unique and intriguing items aboard the Voyagers are the golden phonograph records, which were included as a message to any extraterrestrial civilization that might one day encounter the probes. These gold-plated copper discs contain a treasure trove of human culture including 115 analog encoded photographs, readings in 55 languages, a 12-minute montage of Earth sounds, and 90 minutes of music. The inclusion of these records symbolizes humanity's hope that one day intelligent life in the distant future might find them, power them up, and learn about our world. Each Voyager probe is powered by three plutonium dioxide radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, mounted at the end of long booms extending from the spacecraft. These RTGs have provided the probes with a steady source of energy throughout their long journey. Both probes were equipped with 11 scientific instruments, each designed to collect data from their surroundings. Among these instruments are the Imaging Science System, ISS, the Ultraviolet Spectrometer, OVS the Infrared Interferometer Spectrometer, IRIS, and the Cosmic Ray Telescope, CRESS, just to name a few. Over the course of their missions, the Voyager spacecraft have made numerous incredible discoveries. Voyager 1, traveling at a speed of about 61,155 kilometers per hour, 38,000 mph, has captured breathtaking images of several planets, including Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, and Uranus. Among its most famous discoveries is the eruption of a volcano on Jupiter's moon, Io marking the first time an active volcano had ever been observed outside Earth. But perhaps the most iconic image Voyager 1 captured was the pale blue dot a photograph of Earth taken on February 14, 1990. From a distance of 6 billion kilometers, 3.7 billion miles. This image, which inspired Carl Sagan's famous book A Pale Blue Dot, a vision of the human future in space, remains a profound reminder of our planet's fragility and isolation in the vastness of space. Voyager 2, traveling at a slightly slower speed of 56,327 kilometers per hour, 35,000 mesom, has also made incredible contributions to our understanding of the solar system. Its observations of Jupiter's great red spot, a massive storm, three times the size of Earth, provided valuable insights into the planet's atmospheric circulation. Voyager 2 also made close passes of Neptune's moon Triton, capturing images that were used to create a time-lapse movie showing its dynamic environment. Perhaps even more astonishing than their planetary discoveries is the fact that both Voyager probes have now ventured into interstellar space, something they were never designed to do. Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space on August 25, 2012, after passing through the heliosphere a protective bubble of charged particles surrounding the solar system. Voyager 2 followed suit on November 5, 2018, recording similar data as it crossed this boundary. Both spacecraft have provided valuable information about the nature of interstellar space, including the intense cosmic radiation that exists beyond the heliosphere and how the sun's charged particles interact with those from other stars. Despite their incredible distance from Earth, the Voyager probes continue to amaze engineers with their reliability. In December 2017, Voyager 1 successfully reoriented itself using backup thrusters that hadn't been used since 1980 during its flyby of Saturn. This remarkable feat allowed NASA to continue communicating with the probe, 
which now relies on the Deep Space Network's giant radio antennas to transmit data. These antennas, located in Spain, Australia, and California, are capable of picking up Voyager's incredibly weak signal, which, by the time it reaches Earth, is only 0.1 billion billionth of a watt. As of January 2022, Voyager 1 is an astonishing 23.3 billion kilometers from Earth, while Voyager 2 is 19.3 billion kilometers away. While most of their instruments have been shut down to conserve power, both probes are still heading toward distant stars, with Voyager 1 expected to pass within 1.7 light years of a star in the constellation Ursa Minor in 40,272 AD and Voyager set to pass by a star in Andromeda in about 40,000 years. Although we will eventually lose contact with these extraordinary spacecraft, their legacy will endure as a symbol of humanity's quest for knowledge and exploration.